Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. I'm Shane, a naturalist and nature blogger based here in Helena. And today we are out at Westmont Farm and Gardens looking at a patch of showy milkweed. I was out here last week writing a blog post about this patch, and I was lucky enough to find not only an adult male monarch nectaring here, but I also found an old, fairly large monarch larva on this patch. Monarch butterflies are one of those species that are very specialized in terms of their larval host plants. So milkweeds are their only larval host plants. Monarchs were actually just recently listed as endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. That's not like a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service endangered species listing. It doesn't hold legal weight, but it's telling us that this is a species that's in trouble. But it's really great news that we still have monarchs here in Helena, and we still have thriving milkweed patches like this. This milkweed patch is also a really great resource for a lot of other creatures. We've got tons of honeybees in here, and we also have a specialist beetle called a, a milkweed longhorn beetle. And we have a number of those in this patch too. Basically the only place you'll find these beetles is on stands of milkweed. So now we're here to just take a bit of a closer look at the showy milkweed flowers. And these are weird flowers, I've got to say. A lot of plants have the pollen just loose, and so bees can pick it up as kind of a powder and carry it back to their nests. With milkweed, the pollen is actually packaged in these little sacks. So when a bee is visiting, it is actually mostly going after nectar but sometimes it will get a foot kind of stuck in the middle of this flower, and then it will come away with one of those pollen packets. Now, most of the time it works out, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you'll see a bee that's stuck to one of these flowers and is furiously buzzing trying to get away. I've seen dead honeybees and flies on these flowers. Obviously, we have hundreds of honeybees here, and most of them are doing well enough with the nectar that that slight risk of getting stuck seems to be worth it to them. 